Hi there! My name is Delji Makiling. I'm a second year student and a Bachelor of Secondary Education in English major. The two topics that I chose are phonics and grapheme. First is the phonics which entitled as Let us correlate sounds with letters. Phonics is a way of teaching children how to read and write. It helps children hear, identify, and use different sounds that distinguish one word from another in the English language. Written language can be compared to a code, so knowing the sounds of individual letters and how those letters sound when they are combined will help children decode words as they read. Understanding phonics will also help children know which letters to use when they are writing words. Phonics involves matching the sounds of spoken English with individual letters or groups of letters. For example, the sound k, k can be spelled as c, k, c, k, or c, h. Teaching children to blend the sounds of letters together helps them decode unfamiliar or unknown words by sounding them out. For example, when a child is thought the sounds for the letters T, P, A, and S, they can start to build up the words tap, taps, pat, pats, and sats. The second topic is grapheme, which I entitled it as, How do you write it? A grapheme is a letter or a number of letters that represent a sound phoneme in a word. Another way to explain it is to say that a grapheme is a letter or letters that spell a sound in a word. You use the letter names to identify graphemes like the letter C in the word car where the hard C sound is represented by the letter C. A two-letter grapheme is in the word team where the EA makes a long E sound. A four-letter grapheme can be found in a in the word eight where A makes a long A sound. In let us correlate sounds with words, Allow the students to put their fingers on their throat and switch between saying the sounds S and Z. They will be able to feel the vibration in the throat as their voice box turns on and off, yet their mouth stays in the same position. When writing these sounds, they are represented by two different graphemes. This multisensory technique can be used to help students correctly articulate the voice and unvoice phonemes. Students engage in manipulating and marking words to assist their decoding of words. This is done on singular student's paper with a pen hole, utilized at students' work areas. A similar letter or sound control happens on the classroom whiteboard. All students are normally occupied with every movement at their work areas or at the board with peers. While they look at the whiteboard for the letters written, they will put their right hand in their throat while the left hand is filling the holes.
all lessons are projected and interactive on a projector. Letters or words are visually written in the whiteboard or blackboard. These provide visual references for given skills and are posted in the classroom. Visual support is also encouraged during student writing. Students are thought to begin different writing tasks using various thinking maps where they visually think or plan or jot down notes in their native languages. Seeing a colorful and semantically loaded display can be a great aid for spelling. Let us proceed to how do you write it. The teacher will let the students listen to a sound of letters and its corresponding words. Afterward, the teacher will reiterate and the students will do the same while they follow a letter in the sand, water, finger paint, or in their palm. A. Apple A. Apple A. Apple Get them to trace a letter in sand, water, or finger paint. You can also try having them trace letters in the air or on the palms of their hands. Students should say the sounds the letter stands for at the same time. Another option is teaching students how to sign the alphabet. The teacher could have dots that forms a letter to let students trace those dots. The teacher will write the letters and its corresponding words in the blackboard or show it through a projector. The words could also go along with pictures to help students make visual connections. A. Apple A. Apple A. Apple These strategies are best to be used because it highly focuses on helping and honing the auditory learning wherein students will be able to learn most effectively through listening. Kinesthetic learning wherein the strategies require them to manipulate or touch things in order to learn and visual learning wherein students will be able to focus on what they see in front of them in order to learn. Basically, Auditory learning, kinesthetic learning, and visual learning are all present in my innovative strategies to guide students learn phonics and grapheme. So that's it! As future teachers, I hope you'll be able to help and teach your students passionately where they will learn best as they are our what we call ang pag-asa ng bayan.